these two women are at a bar and they have just enjoyed a few drinks and a good conversation and now they're ready to leave the bar. Should they give the bartender a tip? Should they give him a tip? What do you think? Well, tipping in Western culture, like here in Canada, it's a big part of the culture. Okay, it's a, it's a pretty big part of the culture. And to be honest, I don't really like it. I don't like this idea of tipping. Now, I'll tell you why I don't like it. But first, let's just take a look at some situations where you might want to leave a tip, okay? Restaurants, bars, pubs, hotels. Okay, let's say you're going on vacation and you stay in a hotel and someone who works at the hotel carries your bag from, let's say, your taxi up to your room, then you could give them a $2 tip or something like that, okay? Or if you go to a hair salon to get a haircut, you could give the barber a tip or the, the hairdresser a tip, okay? Or taxi drivers or Uber drivers, okay? It's very common to give these people tips. Now look at these things. They all have something in common. They are all part of the service industry. The service industry. That's just anything where you get service, like a hotel, a restaurant, haircutting, any kind of place like that that gives you service. That's part of the service industry. So you could give them a tip. Now, what is a tip? Well, a tip is money given as a reward for good service. For service, right? It's nice to be, to be kind to people. If someone helps you, then you can give them some money as, as a tip. That's great, right? Now, tipping is optional. It's optional. That means it's your choice. It's like extra money that you're giving the person. Like if you go to a restaurant and the bill is $20 uh, and you want to give the waitress or the server uh, a tip, that's great. Okay. Now, if you don't give a tip, that's fine too. Nobody's going to call the police, right? It's not illegal to not give a tip. You don't have to give a tip. It's optional. It's extra. Okay. So how much should you tip? How much should you tip? Well, here in Canada, and I think a lot of other countries, it's 15%. That's about, you don't have to be exactly 15%, but somewhere around 15% is the normal rate to tip someone. Okay, so for example, if you are at a bar and you have some drinks and the bill comes to $20, you know, you could, you could tip them like $3 or something. That would be normal. Or if you go for a haircut and it costs $18, then you could give the barber $20 and say, keep the change. Keep the change. Okay, that means you gave him a $2 tip, right? Um, now, here's why I don't like tipping. It's because tipping has become an expected, uh, something that's expected all the time. All the time. If you don't give a tip, your friends might say, you're so cheap. You're so cheap. Okay, that's not a good thing to be cheap. Okay, cheap means like greedy or, or not generous. You're not very generous. You're so cheap. Okay, so it's become expected all the time, even for bad service. Even when you get bad service, most people still give a tip, okay? Very often I hear uh, people say this, I only gave her a 10% tip because the service was so bad. The service was so bad, so they only gave her a 10% tip. In my opinion, that's crazy. If the service is bad, don't give any tip. 
don't give any tip or if the service is just normal. I mean, a tip is for something extra, right? Some a good sir, if you got good service, great, give a tip, right? I like giving tips for good service, but I really don't like feeling pressured to give a tip when the service wasn't even very good. And that's the problem. There is this pressure from society, at least here in Canada, that you, you have to give a tip all the time. Restaurants, bar, bars, any of these kinds of places, okay? And that's what I don't like the pressure. A tip should be something free, right? Some, something that you, you choose to do. Okay, uh, now another reason I don't like tips is because a lot of times here in Canada, servers cannot keep their tips. They cannot keep their tips, okay? At the end of the evening, all the servers get together and they pool their tips. They pool their tips. That means uh, they, they gather. Pool means gather. Okay, so they gather their tips together. They have to do that. It, it's not optional. Okay, they have to put their tips together and then part of the tips go to the cooks. To the cooks. And maybe another part goes to the dishwashers or some other place. And then the remaining tips get divided among the, the you know, the staff, the, the servers. So very often servers cannot keep all their tips, the total amount of their tips. They have to do what's called tipping out, tipping out, because the cooks, sometimes cooks complain, we don't get any tips, <laughs> we don't get, so, right? The servers always get the tips, the cooks never get tips. So the system is to try to, to reward the cooks, but in my opinion, this is a very bad system because you know, you should just pay the cooks more money. The cooks should receive a higher salary or a higher hourly wage for their job. They shouldn't be dependent on customers' tips. Okay, so that's another reason, okay? Employers pay employees minimum wage. Okay, very often in the service industry, uh, employers just pay their workers minimum wage or somewhere near minimum wage, maybe $10 an hour, $12 an hour, okay? Because they know that the server will make tips. Okay, and you know, some servers make a lot of money in tips, which is great, that's great. But the problem is this whole system is designed where the customer has to pay for everything. Well, the employer then is really cheap. Okay, let's say I go to a restaurant and I don't give a tip and that server then doesn't make very much money. She only makes minimum wage, right? Is that my fault? Or is that the employer's fault? It's not my job to pay for her job, right? The employer needs to pay her a good salary a respectable salary for her work. Okay, and in, in many cases that doesn't happen. They don't make very much money. Okay, so employers should be less greedy, pay their workers well, and customers shouldn't be expected to tip. How about, do you tip? Do you agree with me or do you think I'm crazy? Do you disagree? Let me know down there in the comments. Okay, so, there are different ways you could tip. There are different ways you can leave a tip. It's called leaving a tip, okay? A very common way is just to leave cash on the table. Like if you're at a restaurant, okay, you will get the bill, and then if you're paying in cash, or however you're paying, uh, you know, the, the server might give you some change, right? And then, before you leave the restaurant, you can just put some coins or bills or however much you want to tip, you can leave it on the table, okay? And then you can just walk out and the server will go to the table and get the tip, okay? Uh, now, another way you can tip 
is you can say keep the change. So let's say the bill came to $21. Okay, you could give her $25 and say keep the change. Keep the change. Then you're giving her a $4 tip, right? Now, another way is through uh, one of these payment terminals. <laughs> this is called a, a payment terminal or a uh, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called a payment terminal or a machine, a payment machine. Okay, so you put in your debit card or your credit card. Okay, then it will say uh, confirm purchase. Do you want to pay for this? Yes. Then you press yes. You pay the green, uh, the green button there. And then it will say tip amount, tip amount. Do you want to leave a tip? Then you can you can select either a dollar amount or a percentage. Okay, so probably one of these buttons will be for a dollar amount or for a percentage. So it's your choice. Let's say you want to tip two dollars. Then you press the dollar amount and you type in two dollars. Then you press OK. Then it will say total bill 22. Let's say the bill was $20 and you added a $2 tip. So $22 total. Confirm purchase. Yes. And then you type in your, your pin code. Beep, 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 beep. Right? And then it will say uh, transaction complete or something like that. And then this little piece of paper called the receipt will start rolling out and then uh, the the server will tear that off and give you your copy of the receipt. So that's maybe the most common way to tip. I don't know. Do you tip through uh, this way or do you tip with cash? I do both. Actually, probably this way is more common for me because I don't carry cash around very often. Most of the time I use my cards, my credit card, the most, most common. Hey, that's basically how you tip. Uh, if you want more tips, Hey, more tips, tips, tips has so many different meanings. I should make, uh, I should make another lesson on all the different meanings of the word tip. Okay. If you want more tips on topics like tipping, then subscribe to my channel right down there. And Hey, I want to know, is tipping expected in your culture? Is it expected in your culture like it is in our culture or is it not really a big part of the culture. Let me know down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.